Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Perfume Canadian here. Um, welcome back to all my returning subscribers and if you aren't subscribed yet, what in the world? <laughs> Click on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you'll be updated anytime I have a new upload and that's Sundays every 5pm today. We'll be discussing some perfumes that will make you smell unique. But before we get into it, show sure real, hit it! I don't know about you guys, but I'm always looking for um, unique and hidden gems, especially with notes of saffron, juniper berries, and olibanium. And I know I'm not the only one here who loves unique scents or a great masterpiece. However, the problem is that if we're all looking for the same thing, the same uniqueness, unique perfumes, will end up being mainstream, which was the issue with um, Baccarat Rouge. Everyone wanted to have this unique masterpiece and I understand but the problem is that now we have lots of dupes as a result Anywho, let's count down to my seven unique uh, perfumes for you today So the number seven on this list is what I'll call an intersection between oriental and woody notes This fragrance is very dynamic and spicy all thanks to the saffron notes and guys I am talking about Safarino Ibran, which has just two notes. A resinous woody note called Sisters and an oriental spicy note called Saffron, one of my favorites. This is a very modern take on perfumery, with the notes being harmonious, harmoniously combined, aka well blended. A great unisex fragrance and very perfect for the colder months. However, uh, this particular perfume only comes in a 30 ml bottle. But it is great, it has great silage, great longevity, and it projects amazingly. Great unisex. It is more on the masculine side, but if you like bold perfume, perfume that are very bold, that will announce it before you even get in, then this one could be it for you. It is called Safarino um, Era. Beautiful. So the number six onto this list is a, a gorgeous Goma leather perfume, which in my opinion, it's very sophisticated. Listen, if you genuinely want to smell unique, then you have to get this one. One quick warning though is to make sure to sample it first uh, before committing to a full bottle. And guys, I am talking about um, Melody de Altai by Ella Key. Mm. Get this stunning combination of woody, spicy nuances. You get amber, saffron, patchouli, and vetiver. And the vetiver and patchouli give this particular fragrance an earthy and warm feel to it. Then it also contains citrax, which gave it a very sensual and balsamic feel. It projects very well, it's perfect for the colder weather, and I would imagine a very mature woman wearing this. And um, for example, Miss Beyonce always comes to my mind whenever I smell this perfume. I don't know if, if this is what she wears, but I'll imagine her wearing this because there is something so mature, so sensual, so confident about this particular perfume. Very stunning. Great unisex perfume and um, amazing. Highly recommended if you want to smell unique. The number five onto this list is a unique fragrance from a Middle Eastern brand with this, uh, I would say, luxurious packaging. Let me tell you something here, guys. This particular perfume shows that you don't have to spend a lot of money to smell good. And guys, I'm talking about my hair from the house of Latifa. You get this spicy opening as a result of the nutmeg, saffron, I can get leather as well. You get roses, you get vanilla, you get oud. And the oud here is very smoky and dark. This particular perfume has a monster projection if you use the room and it's very inexpensive. Wear this one in colder months to turn heads. One thing I would say about this perfume though is that it leans more on the masculine side. But if you're a woman who loves um, bolder notes or darker notes like I do, like I do love it bold and spicy. So if you're someone like me, then you can try this particular perfume. Great, perfect. 
Now I don't have any other thing to say. I love this perfume just that it is great and I love it. We're counting down to number four. And the number four to this list is a white, floral, subtle oud perfume which can be worn all year round. It is sensual, mysterious, unique and a very distinctive scent. An amazing westernized oud, uh, westernized oud which is very long lasting. Guys, I am talking about oud Sibyl Queen. Uh, let's see. Getting orange blossom, El Grete, getting bergamot, you're getting oud. You're getting tonka bean, and the tonka bean here made this particular perfume sweet and mesmerizing. The silage is very strong, but this fragrance is very easy to wear. If you're someone you want to delve into the wood territory, but you just don't want to start with the very dark, strong wood, then start with this particular one because the wood here is very subtle, it's very easy to wear, it's very inoffensive. You can wear this to work, it is very sweet. I I, oh god, I really love this particular perfume, Would Save the Queen, nice perfume. So guys, the number three onto this list is one of my favorite inexpensive perfumes, the one that I'll always have in my collection. It is what I'll call um, a vintage fragrance. This particular perfume contains patchouli, which may not be everyone's cup of tea, it wasn't mine at first. However, the Ylang, the Rose, the Ember, turned this particular perfume to a unique and a very complex scent. Guys, I am talking about Mubazum by Mubazum. This perfume smells clean and vintage, but it will only work in the colder months and for mature ladies, I would say. The only thing I don't like about this perfume is that the cap is so wacky, it doesn't fit properly, but all in all, I love it. And I also love that it contains honey, which gave it this particular warmth to it. Just be careful with the bees if you wear this in the summer months <laughs> because they will come after you. I'm serious. <laughs> but a very nice and unique scent. So, guys, the number two onto this list is an amber floral fragrance for women, very multi faceted. It has this incense side to it. Then you get this with a cord from the tonka bean. I love tonka bean. And some spiciness from the cinnamon. Very nice note. Very beautiful, inexpensive fragrance. Guys, I am talking about mysteriously number one. This particular fragrance is clean and green and very long lasting. And I love the incense stick on this particular perfume. It's the kind of incense that doesn't smell like a church. And I think it's because of some green notes that it contains. Very beautiful, very long lasting. You wouldn't. I didn't really imagine this particular perfume to be long lasting because it's, it's because it was very inexpensive. But hmm. I put quite a dent to it and I love this so much. Very unique. So guys, if you've been with me since the inception or the conception of this YouTube channel which is already two months old, you will know that the number one onto this list is one of my favorite perfumes. The one I don't think I would ever not have in my collection, if that makes sense. So let's count down to number one. Number one onto this list is one of my favorite vintage perfumes. Um, if you love Chanel number no. five, you will love this particular perfume. A stunning floral out of high scent with all the stunning florals you can imagine. For example, you get um, Assisas, which gave it this green accord. Then you have some white florals like Jasmine, Tuberose, and then you get Rose, Elan, Carnation, Lily of the Valley, all those good stuff. That's what you get. It's very rich, enchanting, unique scent, a class in a bottle, and a single spray fuse of the room. Guys, I'm talking about first from the house of Van Cleves and Apples. I love the warmth that the sandalwood notes brought to this particular fragrance. It's very classy, it's for mature women. It's also great for spring and summer because of it's a floral perfume, so it's great for spring and summer. I would imagine mature women wearing this. There is something old money about this. I don't know if it is because it is vintagey, but it just has this old money vibes to it. So if you want a scent that is unique, that you can smell everywhere, then get this. The only downside to this is that, is that most people would consider this a drama scent. And I think it's because of the aldehydes. Because aldehyde as a note is not so easy to wear. <laughs> there is something so mature about it. But um, if you can overlook this, the aldehyde or the grandma ness, then you will love this particular perfume. 
I absolutely adore the dry down. I think that's where the magic happens first. Where it's a unique. So guys, that's it for today's video. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video the same way I enjoyed making it for you. Let me know in the comment section your favorite unique scent that you like to wear. Remember guys, once we get 100 subscribers, I'll be running a giveaway. To be a recipient of that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to like this video, share this video, and next week, we'll be talking about the four perfumes, the only perfumes you need in your collection. Stay tuned for that, and um, I'm going out to get tan. This the next month. Ciao! <laughs>